Happy Sunday, everybody. We are approximately five weeks away from election day, arguably the most critical election our country has seen in decades. Now that said, I'm going to be pushing this political conversation uh, just a little bit more. Now, you know, look, I've got friends in all parties, but the one thing that we can always agree on is the conversation and the dialogue and where that conversation lands is always the most critical part. Now, this is something that I've certainly not done in the past, so I'm gonna go big. <laughs> you guys know me, if I go, I go big. So guys, I had the opportunity to sit down with Vice President Joe Biden and Senator Kamala Harris to talk about a number of important issues that we're facing as a country. I thought it was a great and extremely productive conversation that we had, and as a registered independent for years now with centrist, centrist excuse me, ideologies, I do feel that Vice President Biden and Senator Harris are the best choice to lead our country, and I am endorsing them to become president and vice president of our United States. You know, this past January, approximately nine months ago, my old man died, and I didn't get a chance to say goodbye to him, but he always said that respect is given when it's earned. So you gotta get out there and you gotta earn it with your own two hands. And that was my very first question to Vice President Biden and Senator Harris. And that question is how will you earn the respect of the American people once you're inside the White House? Here's that conversation. Guys, I, I got to tell you, well, it, it is so good seeing you guys. Uh, Senator Harris, it's a pleasure to finally see you and finally meet you. Thank you. It is a pleasure to see you. I'm a huge fan of everything from Fast and Furious, all of them, to Jumanji. So thank you for your work. <laughs> thank you so much. Well, well, thank you. Thank you for your work. Um, let me start off by saying, guys, I've been a lucky guy over the years in, in my life and my career to, to have been part of and participated in some real defining moments. And I have never publicly endorsed a presidential candidate or a vice presidential candidate um, in my life, over my career. So I figured let's kick this conversation off this way by me officially uh, publicly endorsing you both uh, to become president and vice president of our great country. Oh, Thanks. that's fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That means a great incredible. deal to us, for real. Thank you. Really? Thank you. You, you guys are, are, are both obviously experienced to lead. You've done great things. Joe, you've had such an incredible career. You, you've led, in my opinion, with great compassion and, and heart and drive, uh, but also soul. And you and I talked about that in the past and how important soul is. And uh, Kamala, I'm going to embarrass you just for a little bit because I'm going to talk a little bit about your, uh, your amazing experience. And you have been an attorney a district attorney, a state attorney, a uh, U.S. senator, smart, tough. I've seen you in those hearings. And um, in, in my opinion, you are a certified badass. I, I am honored, and thank you for that. That's a huge compliment from you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Joe, you and I have talked about the relationship that you had with your, with your father, you know, this idea of respect and, and earning respect that our parents have taught us. My dad always said, respect is given when it's earned. A uh, question I had is, how will the both of you earn the respect of all the American people once you're in that White House? By doing what we say we're going to do, by keeping our word, by leveling with the American people, by taking responsibility. When we fail, acknowledge it. Mm -hmm. We're not going to be perfect, to be, but take responsibility. Say, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I believe. And tell the truth. That sounds so basic. But the American people are strong. They're tough. They can take anything if you level with them and tell the truth. And one of the ways we're going to do it is demonstrate we mean what we say. Our administration, DJ, is going to look like America. It's going to be representative of all of America. Absolutely, Kamala. How, how, do, you, how do you feel? How do we earn it? How do we earn it with our own two hands? Well, you know, to your point, DJ, I'm, so uh, it's about trust, right? 
And as we know, the nature of trust is that, like Joe was saying, and, and you've said, it's a reciprocal relationship. You give and you receive trust. Yes. And one of the foundations of trust is truth. You must speak truth. But here's the reality. Truth can sometimes be really difficult to hear. And for that reason, sometimes people don't speak it. But you mm-hmm. cannot have trust if you don't speak truth. You know that as a parent. We know that as parents. You have to speak truth. And as long as there is an understanding that it is being spoken not to confront, not to hurt, but to deal with things the way they must be handled, I think that's, that has to be part of the core of, of, of what we do as we go forward. Because... To your point, we're facing as a country so many challenges and people are grieving. I mean, people are grieving the loss of life, the loss of jobs, the loss of certainty, the loss of normalcy. And to heal and get through this, we're going to have to be honest about what healing will require. Yes. And that's one of the things that Joe and I really do have in common, which is we're motivated by healing but we know to do that, we have to be honest about what it's going to take. Yes, absolutely. You know, and, and, and to that point, when you're honest with a scenario and people who you care about, and obviously we, you guys, all of us care deeply about our American people, um, th- that when you, you mentioned the word decency, you mentioned, mentioned the word respect and honesty, dealing with this, but it's also it leads right into making progress, but through a humanity and how important that progress is, but through humanity. And, and, um, and thank you for saying that. Truth and progress through humanity. I like the tie in there of what Vice President Biden and Senator Harris said about truth, because as we all seek the truth and as we all wanna do our best to speak truthfully to each other, uh, it, it's not to confront, it's not to hurt. Um, but it's to make progress. And you know, to me, there's a lot of ways that we as a human race can make progress, but the most powerful way for us to make progress, to me, is through humanity, is through decency. Progress through humanity, progress through decency, through equality, progress through kindness, because kindness matters. I appreciate you guys joining me in this conversation here, and there is much more to come. 